Hi, ladies and gentlemen, lovely listeners. I'm Caleb Lamte, your host for the Young and Old podcast. In this podcast, I interview some of Africa's top achievers across various disciplines all over the world. They share their habits, values, and principles that have brought them this far. Stay tuned and enjoy the conversation. In this episode, we have Philip Wachidia Oyinka, stage named Nana Sase. He's a poet and a writer who has purpose in his heart to hold up the African tradition tradition in his art. Nana Sase has performed on various platforms in the presence of both the young and old, the rich and poor, the known and the unknown. His art throws light on the Ghanaian culture. You can find him on Facebook at Assassinana, Instagram Assassinana, Twitter at Assassinana, where the Assassin is A S A A S E and Nana N A N A. You are welcome, Philip Bwachi Bia Uminka, popularly known as or stage named Nana Sase. So, to start with, how did that name come up? Why Nana Sase? Thank you very much, Caleb. And as I say, because I'm growing up, I lived with my grandmother. I think I've told this story so many times, who was fond of growing up relations as her grandchildren. So I had everybody call me Nana Sase, Nana Sase. I didn't get it. Until I asked in my adult years, and I was told one of my cousins couldn't see Nana Bwachi. And so she kept saying Nana Sase, and it came to stick. So when I finally got to uni, um, advanced creative writing class, with Professor Kupiani, the whole. Number 400, I was looking for a name because Philip, this is the kind of thing I was writing, was a big mismatch. And then God took me into scripture. I said, you see, the earth is the Lord, the earth is his foot. So I'm like, well, if he's up there, he's handling affairs. We are down here, we're able to manage affairs. Why not carry the footstool? So none of us is simply God's footstool bearer. That is the whole concept. Nothing to do with Asasiya. Okay. Uh, well, you can invite Asasiya on. That's all we the other one. God that's the whole to bear. simple as it is. Wow, <laughs> interesting. And you have this intro you give. Yes. I think it starts like, um, um, I, Nana Sase. Oh, Mama Kwejebi. Oh, Mama Kwejebi. Kwejebi. Kwejebi of Asse. And it goes on, you say, I'm the king writer. I'm the writer king who sips communion wine from the calabash. How long did it take to get that intro? <laughs> because I, I watched your videos as well as nine years ago. And I assume you could be in the game like a decade now. Yeah, I've been here for, I've been practicing for about 21 years. 21 years? Yeah. Wow. So how did that intro come up? I mean, how did um, that uh, come so up? So when you look at the art of oratory in, across various cultures, let me zoom it down to our Ghanaian culture. If you enter any palace, where there's a linguist, from northern Ghana all the way down to the south, they like to trace genealogy. When you look at the Muslims, Ibn Abdul, Ibn Batuta. Ibn simply means son of. Going to the Bible, Joshua, son of. Okay. So somebody likes to identify themselves with where they're coming from. Okay. Because we say it's on the ends of old roofs that new ones are woven. They tell us the child is nothing. It's only the glory of his forebears that the world sees and tolerates in him. So Paul, I know. Peter, I know. Who are you? The seven sons of Sceva in the Bible who got beaten. So a name is very powerful. Whose son are you? Who has sent you? Who do you know? Who knows you? Do you get my point? So Nana Sase definitely belongs to a certain line. And he chooses to be either. It's, it's actually a long line. I call my uncle, I call my father, I call my grandfather. But for, for, for brevity's sake, you know, once anybody bothers to find out who is Omama Kwejebi, then we open up and say, oh, okay, Omama Kwejebi is X, Y, Z. And for the record, he's a natural person. He's still alive. She's still alive. Yeah, he is. Hey, Kwen Jebi is an appellation. Okay. So Kwen Jebi, it's a captain. He has fought and reclaimed some, or reclaimed others, okay. freed others. Wow. Kwen Jebi. Wako Ajibi. Kwen Jebi is the appellation for Ofe. Okay. If you ever hear anybody called Ofe, okay. okay. they are either Kwakodium or Kwen Jebi. Okay. So, Kwen, you know, so Mama Kwen Jebi is a natural person. Wow. Yes. And he said he's still alive. He's alive, very alive. 
and how does it feel getting to hear you yeah. mention? <laughs> what do I call me, Charlie? It's still media too. <laughs> <laughs> I see. All right, so you said it's been 21 years now. It's been there. Yeah. 99 till now is how many years? 99 yes, till now. Till now. And 20, 21. 20, 21 years. 21. Yeah. Yeah. And that, I mean, how old were you around that time? I think I was about 11. And how did you find that? 11 till now, what's my age? I'm 60 something. Yeah. <laughs> how, I mean, how did you realize that? This was it. Uh, well, I grew up reading a lot. Okay. Reading a lot. Uh, okay, I heard that story, I think, in one of the interviews where yeah. you said you played the chat stay. Yeah, so, Charlie Stay. Stay. So sometimes I stay. Just kill you. Kill you. Um, I play the skipping rope, I play the ampe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Charlie, all those games. I don't know if you ever met Auntie uh, Wenchi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, small getting gear, small corners, <laughs> police and thief, mom and pop. Charlie, see, all these games. Yeah. 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 So that was a very rich span of folklore for me, a very rich span of, you know, growing up as a Ghanaian kid. You, know. uh, you got to school, you got to learn English with French. Okay. Uh, I was taught to Kyafim Chi, primary school. I learned to read at Auntie Chi with my grandfather's old Bible. I moved to Cape Coast and studied Fanti for three years. I suppose it two or three years, from class six to J. Two, three, wrote my BC, scored a one in Fanti. So I speak Fanti. A Kapim Chi, a Santi Chi, I write all three. You know, so, so your exposures really inform a lot of things. Growing up, I read, I read. My knees were not strong, I couldn't play soccer. I wasn't really a soccer person. But when a woman playing Bluebird, you remember this game? Bluebird, Bluebird. Oh, oh, God. God. Uh, so you are not in up. Can you imagine I remember? All. <laughs> and they would go around chasing guys, you know, around the whole school. But the library was a very cool spot, and I loved the books. So by cl- class three, I always mention, I come across Greek mythology, Esau's fables, you know. So I'd go to the adult section in the library, pick a book, and hide it in the children's section. Once in a while, I'll smuggle a book out. <laughs> I'm confessing to you. Yeah. You should be hearing me, yes. So I loved to read because these characters brought some, some life to me, some joy to me. I felt they communicated to me on a very deep level. Give me a pause, man. Okay. Reading a lot of Bible stories. Sorry? Sure. So, we would go to Sunday school. We're told lots of stories. So, my imagination would travel along. And we had these um, terrazzo floors. Mm-hmm. I could see these Bible characters on the floors. I think I could see characters from um, Simbad or the Seven, the Golden Voyage of Simbad. Ten I could see all these characters like on the floor, sometimes in the clouds. You know, I was locked up in a world of my own, which I couldn't open up to them. Mm-hmm. I was very shy. I hadn't really found my voice. But I knew I loved books. I would read anything I could find, from newspapers to magazines, whatever I could find at the time. I wanted to read. I wanted to find out what it was. So I'd read adverts. I would, anything. Advertising cycle. Mm-hmm. Metro TV's advertising. Look, yeah. I would sit back and read virtually everything that was just and they were playing that for na 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 <laughs> and playing music yeah. so that's how i grew up i grew up listening to konimo i grew up listening to abeja bakufi summit the old school highlights ampedu amachi dede you know i love these things for them. and we grow up productions tnt classic movies on gtv channel by the fireside uh, yeah these were the things that i grew up with and i realized i had a tilt towards but even then, it wasn't so concrete for me till uh, JHS1. Headmistress comes to class and handpicks a couple of students and says, Write a poem for me on books. That did it. That is when I started writing. Uh, poems? I mean, in JHS? Yes. You're writing poems? One. That's how I started. That's why I'm, I'm tipping 99 or early 2000. That's when I started writing poetry. Okay. Uh, so, um, in your house, didn't they find that weird? Like, you are too young to be listening to Kony Mo. I mean, no, you see, back in the day, these things were the things you would hear okay. on TV. Nanampedu was a thing you would hear if there dared to be anything like radio or GTV, you know. You'd see the TV theatre, Stasi theatre, things like W, W, you know. They, they once while they show some Edugoma productions, who killed Nanapuku, Akusika, which is of Mopti, you know. These were very deep, engaging things. If you ever watch GTV till late, 
TNT classic movies. You see some of these Tony Moore performances. You hear Abridge Abaku Pisame, Club Pleasure, Embassy Club Pleasure. They used to play, you know, these kinds of songs. There were a lot of shows in the day which played very good music. Did you ever hear music for your dancing feet? Mm, for your dancing feet? Music for your dancing feet. Maybe unless I, if you can sing some parts, then I'll No, 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 no. It was a show. It was a show. Music for your dancing feet, where they would play. And they would be dancing. Uh, Ghanaian music, yeah. and all of that. Live bands right. playing, hosted by Poncho. Yeah, yeah. So, so we've, we've had shows. Te television has changed a lot these days. Mm. It's, it's very fickle content now, if you ask me. Okay. Back then, it used to be very powerful content. Okay. And these things influenced me. The people I lived at home with as well. Some would speak Chi to you, others would speak English to you. But I managed to separate where I would speak English and where I would speak Chi. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. So, um, what's your background like? Where did you attend? I knew you were School. born in, in Kofuridia. Okay. So, you can give us from Kofuridia. So, I was born in Kofuridia, I attended Pentecost Preparatory School. Okay. And then we moved to Cape Coast. I went to Montessori School and then on to St. Augustine's College and then University of Ghana. Okay. That's so, that's, so um, that means from JHS, from JHS, you knew you were going into fine arts? Um, from JHS, I knew I loved the literary arts. That's when I discovered that. And I kept writing. I, at a point, I thought I would want to be a writer. I would like to pursue what I do. But I didn't know it would be. I didn't know it would be this soon. I didn't know it would be like this. Yeah, it took me by surprise. Yes, because after school, got into PR, agency, and all of that. Then I realized, no, that's what I want to do. I just jumped ship. So it started. Yes, and that brings and me started to... started moving, yes. The boldness, I mean, after... I think you did your service 2010-2011. did my uh, service. Sinachi, uh, Sinachi and Sinachi. What was yeah. it? Originate Sachi and Sachi. Originate Sachi and Sachi. And Sachi and did my service. Yeah, platform Ghana. Okay. Finished my service. Moved to Global Media Alliance and then I jumped ship after I think it was six or nine months. Yeah, um, what gave you that courage? That courage to move. And I think you've spoken about it. I mean, yes. I think at Dream Over you mentioned that yes. people often say that you can't do fine arts um, as a full time you job. You can do the arts. Yeah, yes. so with this fact, let me say fact, it might not be true, but okay. with this fact, how do you still make that decision? What were some of the things? No, no, the thing is this, you see, whatever we do is divine in this world, yeah? And then you should also take that. We're different people. We have different levels of faith. Okay. When I have found something and I am certain of it, I go all out. When I set my, my eye to something, I want to do this. Nothing will dissuade me. When I'm dead sure in my spirit, it's, it's, it's deep-seated. It's that inner conviction. Once you find it, I call it your faith. See, when somebody takes away your faith or your confidence, you're a dead man. They'll serve you anything and you take it. Do you get my point? So I knew what I had heard. It was a divine call. When I started this whole journey, what got me writing poetry itself was a divine call. We'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. I've told this so many times. So much. But it was that divine call. Initially, I, went, I was feeling actually, so I'm going to quit this job. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You know, young guy, fresh out of school. Charlie, what do you have? <laughs> <laughs> you know. But something happened. There was a, there was a little incident there. And then God just showed me clearly. I felt, look, if I give my art a bit more attention, then it means my art is also going to give me a bit more result. It's, it's capable of paying me what I believe I deserve or all of that. Moving on, everybody wanted their child to be a doctor, a lawyer. <laughs> it's fine. Very fashionable things. Well, everybody has their calling. We're sent to earth to do different things. So I asked myself, so when all my generation of literary giants, cultural giants have gone, it will leave my generation in big crisis unless certain people set themselves to learn. Yeah. Don't tell me about academics. I'm not talking about degrees. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about agronomy from, yeah. you know, the the actual purity of what our culture is. People set themselves to learn what our, that uh, cultural art is, that oratorial art is. So I decided, well, let me give, make myself a gimmick. So I made a pact with God. 
Like Charlie, you know what? I'm going to put five years of my life on the line. If this thing doesn't work, I'll never put pen to paper in the name of the office. <laughs> Why five years? Why when I was young, I had five years to spare. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, on the divine story, maybe mm. you might not get the details, but tell us how it, it was. Because sometimes you feel like job and work are not things that can be associated with divine stuff. It's like mm. people feel like it's a, it's a choice. It's a personal, made, it's choice. A personal choice. <laughs> See, mm-hmm. the thing is, it's, it's all right. Uh, what you do not respect, you won't attract. Wow. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. What you don't respect, you won't attract. Mm-hmm. I, that, I said we are different people. We have different levels of faith, and we have. Obian in his mind, let me say that everybody has their own charm. Do you get my point? But they say a child who lives long needs no charm. This life is not ordinary. We were sent here. We are divine beings who are here. We've been sent here for a purpose. Okay. So imagine I was doing a regular eight to five. We would not be having this conversation. So somebody has sent me on this journey. Yeah. And there have been times when I've shaken up my CV. Charlie, let me fly here. Yeah. And he said, somebody I brought here to just... <laughs> Charlie, he's gone all the way up to Sam Jonah. He says, Sam Jonah. Walks up to me. Hands me his phone. Young man, can I have your contact? I'm like, give me your contact. Don't stop doing what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing for someone. Else. I have my CV ready. To be sent to this man's company. How do I send my CV? <laughs> to his company. Well, see, I still need this. That's, that's the end of that job. Wow. Do you get my point? Yeah. I've been offered an appointment. I was offered, let me not mention it here. I was offered that. I told him, me, here, full time. Sorry, sir. Please, you'd be wasting my time. You'd be wasting resources. You can't tie me in nicely. Wow. Well, maybe it came out of a young man's brain. But I feel now, if I decided to take on any other form of flexible, you know, work. Employment, yes, I could in my line of work because I've done media stuff, I've done PR stuff. I mean, a lot of press with this, Charlie. If you were to Google and check, okay, well, especially Charlie, 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 Charlie. you've done it. You get the point. Yeah. And I feel all these things come to shape you, all the experiences we have come to shape you. Now, the elements of the divine, all right. can you tell me exactly when you fall asleep? No, can you tell me exactly when you wake up? No, can you tell me the last thoughts on your mind before you go to bed? <laughs> Never. So what is happening? Then you dream, you find yourself in, you see you dream, you, you say you dream. <laughs> but you sleep, and then you find yourself you find somewhere. Yeah. You look, these are real things. Yeah. Well, if everybody, anybody knows their own experience, this is my experience I'm talking about, not somebody else. Okay. What I do is divine. God set me to this position. I gave him five years. By three years, Charlie, open I started doing things. Wow. Let me know that, look. I'm here. And I was telling you about intermittent messages like that yeah. along the journey. Yeah. Even this conversation we're having is something to tell me, well, it means I've done something good. Otherwise, somebody wouldn't want to spend their early morning, I mean, you know, coming here to want to listen to plenty of things that I have to tell them. Yeah. So if you want to take any decision, you know where your source is. Once you know your source and you respect your source, your source also respects you. Simple as that. Nobody can take you for granted. Mm-hmm. Once you know your source, and your source knows you, do you get my point? Yeah. Yeah. So I've been telling people, somebody who ask for Ghana is whom you know. No, 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 no. Who knows you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know this person. Mm-hmm. I had an incident. I am. Um, we had a dinner at the banquet hall of the state up. And I was telling one of my line managers on the phone, oh, Uncle Ebo, I don't want Uncle Ebo anywhere. If Uncle Ebo were to pass this way and see me here, there's no way Uncle Ebo would pass without stopping. In less than six minutes, Uncle Blue White shows up in the white suit. So he passed. Oh, Nana, at the same. And he speaks my voice. And wow. my voice was. Yes, okay, we'll be once when you talk about someone. Like appear. And, and you know, it happened. Okay. I was not blowing up. I was not. So who knows you? Who would stop? Yeah. Hotel Rwanda. What is Hotel Rwanda? These people were trying to tell them they were with the soldiers, these French soldiers or whatever soldiers they were. And they said, oh yeah, that's how they got to pass. Otherwise, they would have been killed at a particular checkpoint. Are you here with me? Yeah. So who knows you? Then again, the element of a name or recognizing your identity, who you are. So when you know yourself, you know your source and you respect it. 
my life has been a divine kid throughout growing up all all of it has been but you realize we're young we've we'll yeah. been here for a long time yeah. by the time i'm 60 you would see the story better yeah. we'll probably have another interview exactly. i'm just 30 you something mm. you know by the time i'm 70 mm-hmm. you'd see the story better you'd want to probably have another interview yeah. then you put the pieces together and like, look this cannot be a letter of the game because when i quit my job about 3 or 4 years down the line i went back to etv for an interview I used to work with Global Media Alliance. ETV was one of the brands. Yes, okay. I think I was with Dr. Oniri Gutianti <coughs> and a few others. They were having one of their annual events that was supposed to be on. And Jyoti Ajman was my former line manager at ETV. He was manager at ETV as well. And he was one conducting the interview. He says, look, I have a confession to make. This was live television. You can go and take the message. Okay. I, have an, I have a confession to make. I was one of those people when three years ago, when this man was quitting his job, told myself, This guy is a fool. Mm-hmm. What is he trying to do? Mm-hmm. Things we have done and haven't succeeded. What does he think? What disaster does he think he wants to come? But now, now three years down the line, you have proven me wrong. Live television. Live television. Mm-hmm. People want to find out how it is. Charlie, know your source. Respect your source. Be sure you are not going mad and you are not hearing voices and you know what you have heard. Mm-hmm. When you know what you have heard and you stay with it. So I know what God told me. I know what I told him. So I know the conversation we had before I set off on this journey. It's been eight years not working for anybody, not being on anybody's monthly page. But look, Charlie, do I look bad? Not at all. So nobody pays me at the end of the month. Nobody says, Charlie, your, your blair is nice. Come for, you know, <laughs> for no excuse. Charlie, you. Charlie, your last performance was good. Come for it. No. Wow. Full time. And my work, my life as a writer has been my work with God. Okay. It's been so I told him God if you ever bring me here again as if you do bring people back here, take away everything don't touch the stuff that I'm a poet I love that divine place look it's a divine place wow trust me it is from how I started writing poetry to now it is a divine place you've not been caught to it you give up look I had so many contemporaries who now have given up or are treating poetry like a statue yes. look yes. if you give her full attention she will give you full results to give her part time attention to give you part time something like that that um, does that philosophy run through every aspect of a person's life i believe okay mm. because i've thought of it for some time and i think others have spoken about it that sometimes that one of she make or that one choice to make mm. and stick to it is better than the five choices in burning for say on your sofa kwa ichehu okay jiga when you peer point of point It gets frothy, yeah. which means consistent. So I say consistency produces results, good or bad. Okay. Do you get me? Yeah. Consistency will produce results. Somebody takes so much alcohol, it gets to a point when they take alcohol, nothing happens. Do you get me? Yes. So consistency <coughs> will produce results. Okay. That's what it is. When you are cutting something, repeated action, mm-hmm. it cuts. When you are eating, repeated action, you get satisfied. repeated action the food will get finished mm. you know so repeated action okay. practice makes them so consistency you could challenge stick to what you have been called to do do because somebody is doing this you want to go in only if you go to do many things i do so many things beyond poetry i yeah. i do so many things and at least at each level of what i need to do i have that competence with okay. so please check what you've been called to do look Stick to it, love it, give it all your passion. Because he says, "Well, we are dead and we are gone. That place, Charlie. We are not going to be poets." And no, no, no. So this is the time we've got to do the things we want to do. Wow. This is the time. See, so um, how 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 did it start? How did you get your first my first gig? Your first gig after resigning because after resigning <laughs> the one who. <laughs> You work here you even didn't believe that something good can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. how it will be. You can't be yeah. referencing. So yeah. how did that happen? I felt gay. Mhm. Okay. So at the point my life came down to 50%. Came down to 50% in a car. 50% in a car. Yeah. The okay. fiscal cash I was carrying was 50%. 50%. All the money I had in there. Okay. I was somewhere down there having a party in Okay. And um so one of my aunts gave me a two CDs addition. So I, <laughs> I went to RLG at the time, was uh, having the end of year dinner, 
was invited to perform by OSJ Cosmos. That was my that was my first major I remember. But before then, was it before or after Atomic was that? I think I had done the IOG before Atomic was that. Okay. IOG is then over here part two. Okay. And how was that phase? Yeah, and I had about two now? or three. Be before then, I had some minor <coughs> performance. I don't really remember all of that. I remember the ROG bit and then at Hamil's passing. Okay. Funny thing, I had auditioned with KSM for a certain show. But when Atamil died, the man came looking for me. <laughs> and these were people I had said to myself, I'll meet this one before then. I was, look, how I started writing poetry, if you are in the book. Mm -hmm. African Heritage Series, so I said, Mommy, I told my mom, I made this one before you die. When they started the KSM show, when Kipu, I told my mother, Mommy, you know, uh, one day I'll be on this show. Okay. And truly, I was on the KSM show. Yes. You know, so the power of the, Charlie, you should know what you carry. All right. Once you know what you carry, you are very settled. You, do, you are not in competition with anybody. When you know who you are, Charlie, you're not competing with anybody. I told them, Me, I'm not competing with you because, one, you don't know who I am, you don't know where I came from. You don't even know where I'm going. You don't even know what I'm doing. So please do your, do what you've been sent to do. Have confidence in yours. Don't try to be like me. Yeah. Look, be you. Okay. If you have a bad voice, be proud about it. Yeah. You know, be you. Be you. Just be you. I see. So, um. How do you practice? How is your practice life like? Because <coughs> yeah, we are practicing right now. You are practicing right yeah, now. We have a rehearsal. Okay, because mm -hmm. and aside your practice, how do you get some of these words? Because I, I think I, I've watched a lot of videos, even not all, but okay. I've watched a, and I, 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 it's it's amazing how the words come up, how someone is able to think in that form. So like the Lucia. Uh, scene. I, I don't know how Orgasms you call it. Them, yeah. yeah. How you talk about the Muchia, for those who don't know Muchia, um, how would you describe it to those are non uh, It's an earthenware tripod Okay. made with yeah, clay where we light fires, we cook. We cook with it, so it's a, sort of a local stove. Uh -huh. And how do, you, how do you get to relate life with such? So I grew up okay. in a very, you know, my grandmother. So I saw what Muchia is. I saw how a traditional African kitchen looked like. Okay. <clears throat> Do you get my point? Yeah. And when it becomes your calling, you know the buttons to push. See, when something becomes your job, you know the buttons to push. Okay. Do you get my point? Yeah. So, all the experiences I've had now come to serve me. You see, everything I've been through now comes to serve me. Because this is what I focused on. Because I focused on poetry, whichever divine element that takes care of poetry focuses on me and recognizes me. As a poet. Are you here with me? Yeah. Truth of the matter. If poetry were a woman and could give me children, there was no way she would, she would say no. Like, tell you, after all the hassle I've been through, like, poetry. <laughs> it's like a Bible. I tell you, do you get my point? Yeah. So, how do I get these words? Um, consistency produces results. Um, I believe poetry is a scale of handling language. Right? Mm. It's a scale, a divine scale, or let me call it a scale of handling language. To have a certain desired effect on your audience and to elicit the desired response from them. I think it's basic with every communication you, you, you aim to do. So you are careful of the words you select. Somebody says you have to elect your words, you know, the words that you, you use to have effect. But with time, see, the divine thing will keep coming up. Something, someone is dictating, someone is talking to you, or you are in a certain state. I mean, as I talk to you, I'm not in my regular. Kalia, you what's up state? I'm gradually I'm ascending. Yeah. I, honestly, I feel I'm I'm getting into a different when I talk about the look I get I've been able to run an a lecture for say two hours without notes. I can run a three hour lecture without notes. All the students I ever taught, IGCSE, I never took notes to anybody out. Uh, literature. I don't need to carry a note. I don't have any point. If you want me to prove a point, I'll prove it to you. I won't carry any book. I won't carry any book. I'll come and we'll learn literature and then I'll go out. Uh, Do you get my point? Yeah. Consistency. And as you keep going, you grow more confident yeah. in what you do. Yeah. You break new territories. There are things I've never done before. People are pushing me to do. I'm like, yes. The challenge. Once you've done it the first time, <clears throat> you get you get to yeah. keep up the consistency. 
So I always aim to say differently than the average person, differently than the usual person. Always aim to be the discord. See, when you have a choir singing, you only remember two things. The person who was able to hit that pitch or the person who bent the song. We call it a bent <laughs> often. Yeah. <clears throat> so which one will you be? Charlie, when you pitch, they'll remember. When you bend the song, no. when you pitch and they want to admire the beauty of music, mm-hmm. I tell you, that guy, yeah. the way he hits the notes. Mm-hmm. When you blow that, the way the guy bends the song, everybody will laugh. <laughs> Do you get my point? Yeah. Whichever way. Are you here with me? Yeah. Imagine we're walking in a group in this direction. Then I tend to go this way. For a moment, everybody will stop. Oh, Charlie, why are you going this way? For a moment, everybody stop. To look at my performance of going in the other direction. If you swim against the tide, tell you, different than the regular. But always aim to say it differently than the usual. That way, when you feel, Charlie, I've not had enough, ah, let me go back and listen to this. Let me go back. I have a friend in the UK, that's how we met. Um, this year back with you. Apparently, he, Charlie, he knows my view. He has listened to it, and I was like, okay, so what is it? <laughs> what is it? He has listened to every single one. Why not? Do you get my point? Yes. So it makes somebody want to hear it. So it's not what you say that matters, it's how you say it. That's what makes difference and impact. Okay. Do you get my point? Yes. So everybody is, <clears throat> he says, all is that life frustrated. How can we tell the one who suffers from belly? Mm-hmm. Uh, so maybe when one begins to do something, see. Uh-huh, so I'm doing something, so that you see that. Uh-huh. There's, there's a difference. Do you get my point? Yeah. Because we all can't sound this. See. We all can't. Be, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I see. So, um, let's say before you found that you want to be in poetry, that would be our own teacher. <coughs> what, what did you dream to do as a younger person? I think I'm so young, so younger Charlie, person. <laughs> the things I wanted to do. Eh? Hey, tell us. Me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. Something like a typical guardian. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I have ever wanted to be a pilot. I've never wanted to be a lawyer, but definitely I will be a professor of the language of English. I'll be an I'll be a professor. Okay. Professor happens. of literature. Okay. So when are you? Long when are you in the PhD? Me, I'm already on my master's. As I talk to you, I'm not in any institution, but you see, some of us have very unconventional paths. Okay. But mark my words, it will happen. Some of us have very unconventional paths. Very unconventional paths. Very unconventional. So I have people who are treating their PhDs and blah 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 come and sit. Mm. Nana, we are there, we are there. Okay. In my head, I'm in sort you are. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just <laughs> in my head, I'm like, okay. So you are the one supposed to be doing this. Yeah. So I should be asking you what is this. Right? Yeah. Not, they are not the other way around. Mm. Do you get me? Yeah. So I'm very. I'm not. I'm not. Gre- I'm not in a rush. I'm here on a journey. I'm here on a mission. If at this point I don't have the opportunity to be pursuing a master's degree or another paper, that's fine. Am I making impact? Am I doing what, after a PhD, I'm here to do? Yeah. Do you get my point? Yeah. I have this philosophy. Yeah. When I walk up to you, okay, so doctor, I say, give doctor the biggest. When doctor is done, you call an nurse and say, the undergrad or whoever he is, to come and stand there. If I want to insult you, the, worst I, the best I'll say is seven. If I need you to get up, all I'll say is please. Mm-hmm. If I need you to clap, I'll ask you to do so. If I need you to sing along, you don't have any option. Mm-hmm. For as long as I have this. Yeah. And so, doctor, please take it easy. Uh, yes. I, I, I feel like every, every sentence is like... <laughs> you it's it's like, it's it's you. <laughs> no, I'm not. And this is not premeditated. Because okay. we've not had this conversation yeah, before. Had, I've you not seen your question because, before. Yeah. Thank you. So, that's what I mean. It's with time, you develop it. Mm-hmm. And your art becomes you, it shapes you. Mm-hmm. You see, every calling comes with its own demands. Mm-hmm. It comes with developing a certain skill set, a certain way of life, you know, a certain approach. Mm-hmm. And I believe poetry has done its work on me. All right. it, it has its own way of becoming like that. So we can have this conversation for five hours. <laughs> have I opened any <laughs> Yeah, we are, we, are, we are open to having maybe I think I, I mean, if depending on wh- where we get to, you can see how, how many episodes you can get from it. But exactly. some conversations you wish it never ended. Yeah, you wish it never because ended because I love these things. You see, I like to talk about these things with a passion. 
Okay. And I like to thank you a lot because look, our generation hasn't learned to document our generation. We have not learned to celebrate our contemporaries. Yeah. We're always looking ahead, you know, beyond or beyond these borders. Some I've never read any John Grisham. I've never read any Daniel. Really? Shall I'm not done with my African writers yet. Wow. Show in kind books if I no finish. <laughs> I'm not being myopic. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever in books if I no finish. I don't know say any blend blend day that you're still in books that we are not understand. Uh, Sorry, I'm speaking pigeon. Allowed, allowed. It about what I yeah, I about. So really, I don't feel any of them is a better writer than any of my guys, my people down here. Yeah. Do you get my point? Yeah. So I respect my people here with equal measure. And as you say, some things will fit in a certain culture. Look, when you transpose them or whatever, mm-hmm. don't work. So let's come to terms with reality. Look, it's time African young people start doing things. The collaborative effort is super. Mm-hmm. So this blog goes up. This post goes up. Somebody in some part of Africa is listening. Somebody somewhere in Europe is listening. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Do you get my point? Yeah. Because look, everybody is bent on making us feel we are third world. We are sub, you know, quality. We are whatever it is. And so we're waiting for them. Let them come. <laughs> uh, Let them come. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have other conversations. I mean, yeah, it's probably so much. Let me, I'll say this. Uh, so, what I realize is that we talk about sharing our stories. Yes. But we, we don't have people sharing our stories. At all. And even though sharing it, you'll be surprised they are not to, being helped, to, they are not being yeah. encouraged. At all. So I, some also want to edit the stories to make them look nice. Nice. Nah. Yeah, that, that, was, that was one of the things I, I mean, I made it a purpose to get it, the originality of people in mm. these stories. Because if people are not authentic, you you think someone is a certain way until you meet the person like that. Yeah. Oh, you were deceived. Okay. You were told lies. So you've met me. I met you. You deceive you, eh? Not at all. <laughs> like, I I I it's I think it's not it's, it's not a performance. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's a, it's a lifestyle. Most of the action goes takes place off stage. Wow. Of course, most of the action takes place off stage. It's off stage that you rehearse, prepare, yeah. put all your stuff together, and yeah. all of that. Yeah. So. It becomes a way of life. That's why, I, so I tell them, look, poetry becomes a way of life. Whatever you do becomes a way of life. It's a calling. Do you get my point? It's a calling. They say, someone says, oh, it's my calling to be a pastor. It's my mm-hmm. calling to be a priest. It's my calling to be a priest. You've been called to be a poet. I've been called to be a divine. So if you ever pay attention to the talking drama in Akan mythology, or I mean in Akan folklore, mm-hmm. it's called Odoman Kuma Chirema. Okay. God's drama. Okay. Divine drama. Why divine drama? He's been called. So those days are traits. Blacksmithing, weaving, oratory. These things were traits which were highly respected. Okay. Such that we would send people to go and learn from these masters. Mm-hmm. So that they could be passed on from one generation mm-hmm. to the other. That is what we are losing now as Africans. Yeah. But the West has held on to. The Lebanese have held on to. There are some companies which have been in this country for almost 150 years. Yeah. All we do is change the name. Same old people. Some have even maintained the name. Mm-hmm. Look at G.B. Oliver. Recently, I think they probably might have changed. I'm giving an mm-hmm. instance, you know. Yeah. All these merchants, West African, you know, trade traders. Mm-hmm. All these people. Mm-hmm. That's what people should also do. Look at what the Chinese have done with Tai Chi and all I'm studying Tai Chi. Yeah. Look at what these people have done with Tai Chi. Yeah. Spreading across the whole world. By that way, they are spreading their culture. Let's be proud of the things we do. People treat artists who are in these cultural things like that. Uh, they, are not, they are not properly educated, they just need some local fuel to. When I meet such people, I always have fights. These are all the few fights I have. Mm-hmm. People approach you and they feel, uh, you know, artists, they artists, they will never be there life on yet. Until there's something comes out. So they've had a conversation <laughs> with you. Yeah. They realize, hey, Charlie, I can't take this guy for granted. Of yeah. course, you can't take him for granted. Yeah. You know, we have dignitaries, we have the. Cream. We want to invite these guys to come and beat the drums and dance and blah blah. Oh, we're done. We feel like we just and then some chicken change and it's okay. It's not okay. Our tourists didn't come here to see the building. They came here to experience the culture. They came here to taste the food. They came here to see our dancers. They came here to see our drama. I've had tourists ask me, is there a place where I can come and watch you perform? And I'm like, look, with poetry, you don't have it like that, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Do you get my point? Yeah. So look. It's high time we value our own. So, we, lately, I've been telling people, 
If I ever get the chance to live in any corner of the world that appreciates what I do, I'll pack everything I've got and go and live in that corner of the world. If I'm needed at home, I'll come home and do whatever. Well, if you be any one of them, I'm not being ungrateful to Ghana. Ghana is where I've been born. Ghana is one of the reasons why I've not gone out there to pursue you. A master's too early anywhere else. I wanted to make sure that I have myself steeped at home. I have learned at home, you know. Charlie, make some impact as well. Charlie, legacy starts now. Yeah. Here at home. Yeah. Yes. From here, we can be exported to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So, have yeah. there been any uh, opportunities that were outside, let's say, Africa or Ghana that could have taken you out? Have there been any like that? Could have. Yes. That could have taken me out. Yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the next time we'll be re reading about you, could be in Harvard. He's talking about, I mean, for Why not? I, I no, mean, these are things we look forward to. Yeah. Sharing our stories in ways that have probably never been shared mm -hmm. for our generation. Look, others might have done it. But look, I'm talking to someone within my span of his year, 10 year bracket. I don't know how old you are. You know. And it's very important that my generation we realize that we have voices too. Check in Chrome's cabinets, check their ages. Do that research. Okay. Parliamentarians at the time, because what was 27 or 20 something when he became mayor of Kumasi? City clerk, that's what he used to call it. Okay. City clerk. Do you, you get my point? Yeah. But now, young people are taught to oh, future leaders. <laughs> you are not allowed to think until your time is up. Yeah. So by the time they hand the future down to us most of the time, we are like the future is ruined, there's nothing we've got to do. We now have to, like those is homework, you now have to do the correction. <laughs> from the father submit it before you are giving your own assignment do it make your own mistakes try and correct before you set a different agenda for the generation after you Charlie that's a lot of marking time to do man. Mm. we don't have that kind of time so it's high time young people start owning our space mm -hmm. okay. yeah. so um, have there been situations where I mean you have mentioned that you nearly left to go and get a job so many times so naturally we're human <laughs> it's frustrating Okay, so sometimes it gets frustrating. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and how do you overcome that? Aside, maybe the divine person coming. The divine person coming. <laughs> you see, I try to look at all the work I've put in. Okay. Look at all the things I've done. Now, so you are entering a different thing. You're now going to start this. But who says there won't be frustrations there? Yeah. Well, sometimes you just calm down naturally. There are days you get agitated. Other times you calm down. So why not listen to some music? Calm you down. Watch a good movie. Find somebody with positive energy you can talk to. You know? yeah, no man is an island. You definitely feed off energy from other people. Yeah, so we overcome these things that way. There are many other ways. You know? okay. So um, I think in, in I don't know how Karen have done this, but there's this one. Um, Acts or one song usually you sing for an, for intros. I think I, don't, I think it's Ya 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 Dongo. Ya Dongo. That's my own song. Is it, is it your own original? Song? Yes. Okay. How did Ya Dongo come up? Ya Dongo came about from Ako to Bafo and Belembe, listening to their introduction, okay. the way the song so it So it opens with Belembe, and then shifts into Ako to Bafo. I love old school. I was telling you. Yeah. But the words just came to me, and the rhythm, it felt, it referred me to those songs. But the lyrics came, as I sit here, anything can happen at any time. If you pay attention, I have lots of books. If I open this, you see books. There's paper. There's my laptop. Constantly surrounded by stuff. You should open my phone and see. You could write love letters for a living. You find notes, bits and pieces. You know. So, that's what I've been called to do. So, constantly, that's what I'm pursuing. I've written music for people. Mm -hmm. Wow. As a writer, you know, you're not tied. But here we like to box him. Oh, he's a poet. No, we box him. I've okay. shot documentaries. Mm -hmm. I've done voiceovers. I do proofreading. I do editing. Mm -hmm. Teach literature. I'll do your translations for you. English to Chi, Chi to English. I've been a tour guide. I'm still a tour guide. <laughs> you got my point? Yeah. Yes. I'm a chauffeur. A lot of people don't know some of these things. But not your normal. Your normal super. Yes. Indeed. So, indeed, Charlie, you need to be better time. Okay. Do you get my point? Yeah. So, I'm a tour guide. There will never be a dull moment. Mm -hmm. 
Because this is what I've been called to do. Have conversations with people. Have interactions with people. I'm not a motivational speaker. Please don't pick me. <laughs> <laughs> Call me whatever you will. Okay. In an African context, a mm-hmm. philosopher. You know, all these, all, all these things in one. So it's, it's why not? I'm a musician. So I do, I do so many things. Because no art stands on it. It feeds off other, other things. Right. One thing. There's constantly a bell playing in my head. Mm-hmm. You know the traditional ensemble? Um, the the Kiti, Adua, okay. Eve, yeah. whatever. There's always a bell at the Roku. Mm-hmm. Constantly, when I pay attention, there's a bell playing in my head. I love Adua and I love Phantom. So it plays, I play, all the drums play all the way up to Phantom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Constantly, there's that rhythm in my head. So if I need to create two, constantly. I'm talking to you about Kali. Now that I mentioned Explain. constant. Yeah. You get my point. So once it becomes your call, you realize it comes with certain discipline. Once you keep at it, observing these things, Kali. There's no rush. At the right time, when the stage is set, of a born into one more pain. That is when you realize that all of that has paid off. Yeah. So, um, can you give our listeners a line in the Yadonko? <laughs> oh, you want me to sing with my Abuchi voice this morning? <laughs> Anyone? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to have a feeling. I know where Yadonko goes. <clears throat> after listening to it, I sang it through the line. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah. So, maybe you should sing it for them, like, or play it for them. You can play, you can play. Okay, play, okay. You can okay. Play, okay. I'll, I'll play. Have, and I'll you play sing, sing Yadonko for them, or play it for I'll them. Play it, Let yeah. them listen to the song. Yeah, I'll play it too. Yeah. This is an excerpt of Nana Sase performing Yadonko at the TEDx Laboni program. So I'm going to tell you how we came by this song, Yadonko. I cracked my nuts on the knees of the elders, and so I know the sound of a hollow bone. I tell you, the elders raise their beards in the dew to lose the pigment of youth. And the beard is the broom with which the elders gather wisdom. And so I was told that Kokroko is not exclusive to the cock. On the dawn of sacrifice, you should hear Abroma sing. Kokroko, Kokroko, Mafu Nyanatuko, Mafu Nyanatuko. Odumankuma beats gently against my skin. I can afford a smile. I hear the birds gossip. The spotless sky, the sculpted cloud. A loud riddle, the sun has fallen in my backyard. I got my tongue from Ubibini, and I learned my songs from Agbeno Heavy, the ever young songbird of the marketplace. He says, it is only the man who sits under the tree who knows the intensity of the breeze. Life is hard, but then I am quick to add that there is hope in the flatty lens of a bee. The younger teachers of the old so mother hen knows the juiciest well. Ask Anna who the spider, the crafty one who lays on the diagonal junctions. Ask him who sees father, the tortoise or the hare. I yearn for the toes to drown my hair. I yearn for the dew to soak my heat. And so I will lie on my back and wait. The moon and stars will soon be here. Let's do it. So what has been the motivation? What has been the motivation? What has been the motivation? I told you about the divine place. Yeah. I tell you of all the things that I've seen. You know. So God calls a man. He gives him a vision. He tells him where he's sending him to. Okay. And so you, your word is to focus. I've had a few not so good experiences recently. But I'm gradually coming back. And the word keeps coming again. Focus. Focus. 
So looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of who to the but these are the glory right, in focus. Where do we want to get to? By the time we're 90 plus dead and gone, where do we want to get to? Where do you want your name to be? What impact would you have left? I want to leave a very empty man, having poured out everything. Uh, focus. See. see, Charlie, focus. Mm-hmm. focus. 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 See, it's not easy. Up, down, side, twist. Charlie, I want to play a game. Hashmula is my performance partner. You should probably talk to him. Hashmula. Hashmula. You know Hashmula. Hashmula is a guitarist, a poet, an IT man. Charlie. So, try to play. And there were these performances we used to do at the National Theatre for this group. And it was it's a Ramos centenary. 100 years. And we are done with this performance. We're giving an envelope. White envelope. <laughs> Inusewa. You know Inusewa. I think I've heard of it. Oh, the white one. Normal. White. And the white envelope. Inusewa. Okay, okay. Yes. Not <laughs> Igyo. Inusewa. Inusewa. They are white. They are others, but. This one was in the <laughs> So Charlie, see, um, see, let me show you. So, uh, good. I have a good example. <coughs> Please, what is this? Ten CD. Ten CD. What is this? One CD. Fantastic. Please take notes. You mentioned ten CD. And one. And one. CD. Okay. And so we left the National Theatre. When we got to British Council, City House, also yeah, British Council. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm And then we put that thing. Charlie, it wasn't 10 CD. It was one CD, Marco, 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 10. Hey! For sure. So that's 10 CDs, bro. It wasn't 10 CDs. <laughs> like, one CD, one, one, one CD, CD Marco 10. Red one, no? Marco Marco 10. And we just took off our foot and we started praising God on guitar. Sir. We walked to Adabraka, we bought some, we sat down, Charlie, on Kinky B days on joints. <laughs> we had some Kinky, Charlie, Trotsky here, Trotsky here, we went home. Wow. These are some of the things we've had to endure. Wow. So we didn't just get up and, you know, get on the so you hear things when our friend and our children who are not in I mean, I'm in I'm in Chile, I'm in Chile, I'm in Chile. No, so this is an experience I'm telling you about real life situations. If I didn't have a witness, then you hear things later. Down the line. This is the same person who now needs you on the other radio. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Until it is given to you from above. See, a man can do So this is just one of the numerous experiences. I go to share with you. Yeah. Right, coming back from a performance, you are in a trusty and the rain is pouring in your end of the clock clock channels. Then we need to ask, what are the questions you ask yourself? Ah, well, we did it. You know, see, con- patience is a thing. I, I've learned contentment. It's one of the things I'll start growing up. What, when it's not mine, it's not mine. What is mine? Do you get me? Yeah. What is not mine, is not mine. When I get to my father's house, and I decide today, I'll put my chair in the gateway until you guys come and beg me before any car will go out. <laughs> I can achieve that. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> Why? Because yeah. well, my father is not there. Right? It will be me be there. Yeah. This thing for them. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if I decide to today, I'll put my uh, here and have an umbrella over my head. No one can see anything. You can't come and ask me because yeah. I'm in my I'm in my zone. You get my point. So contentment and learning patience. See, bide your time. I'm ready in need, that's all. Yeah. But if you are consistent, look at a man like Red Rockstone. I respect him a lot. Reggie. Reggie made music at a point. What did he do? He took the hand of other people. Reggie, did, Reggie didn't need to go get a PhD. Hmm. See, let him cough today. It will be, music, it will be a hit. <laughs> oh, my boy. So, I mean, that's a respected. Oh. Who wants to joke with Reggie? No one. Let hmm. Reggie cough. Hmm. It will be 
ah, it's the only way to feature and even that. Actually, <laughs> do you get my point? Yeah. And so consistency, patience, by the other. I done stuff with Hammer. Hammer was the last one. When Fender Culture and I did something with Hammer, and then we did um, four days. Okay. That thing trended. Okay. We're trending on Twitter. Charlie Four for some hours. Wow. Trending. Why? Because it was Hammer. And he put, you know, it, it does something. Yeah. If he had not taken his time to hone himself up to that point, he probably couldn't have achieved that. Yeah. So, shall you bide your time? Before opportunity shows up, keep preparing. Preparation is tough. Shall you be tough? You will be so tough. See, if you were some big man, you come and sit here in the morning, wait for him, go and back. Let him have his breakfast. When he come and talk, my boy, I'll have my breakfast. Not, but it's <laughs> eleven. It's almost going on twelve. Yeah. yeah. Before I start my day, before I go to the gym, I suspended my gym this morning because I knew it'd be coming. Yeah. I, I usually go to the gym by four thirty. Home by seven or eight ish. Yeah. You get my point. But Charlie, eight and then nine. I will talk. We're going to be outside. I come and see. But because we'll be having this, I told my coach mother, hold on. When I'm done, I have to go and finish it. That's how I start my day. Go and start uh, my day. Come and do everything else I need to do. If what we're doing is not important, I wouldn't make this kind of time. I really appreciate that. See, when it's your calling, make time for it. When these guys are chasing their girls, they make time for it. What's the name? Unana, can you write a poem for me for my girl? Hey! For me, I'll write for you. I'll charge you. They come for points oh, for you? ladies. I'm up for the Bible. And it, it, it's working. Oh. Why won't it work now? <laughs> wow. It won't work. Did it? <laughs> it's work, Papa. Uh, you know, so they realize, ah, so you can use it. Okay. See, so when, you, when you're chasing a new. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I don't. I'm in talk with someone, but I don't go. Uh, Ugusu Kika. Yeah, Ugusu Kika. Ugusu Kika. Oh, Nijeno. You're making every effort to impress this girl. To impress. Hey, boys, Charlie. I'm a blogger. I run this. Do you get my point? See yeah. the way Charlie mm-hmm. make the same thing. Yeah. I would treat my art okay. a delicate way. When my art turns and looks at me, so this guy they do me there. Uh, he got to cross him and cast it. Oh, uh, do you get what I mean? Look, yeah, yes, see, yes. life has similarities. <laughs> we, that's what you asked me about Mukase. That's yeah. why I see similarities between Mukase and you know attitudes and life. Attitudes and life, yeah. You know, yeah. like there are two friends who walk. You wonder, ah, what can't you see he's cheating you like the Kwankra and the Francent? Yeah. The ladle and the, then the, the, the soup pot, the, the soup bottom pot. of the soup yeah. pot. But when it's when you're fetching it, we hear church. So they're having conversation. Do you understand that conversation they have? <laughs> if you go tell and say cheat up, no no say the cheat up. Or no who's saying quite answer. Uh, uh, you get my point. Yeah, I get it. One hour got to two in the animal mm. mm. Are you here with me? Yeah. Or no more. Oh yeah, or no who's saying yes, no. Yes, every day the lady will gladly go into the soup pot, say the soup, and the shit out till it's finished. And if you, you go tell them, say, <laughs> Wow. Yes, you can get my point. Yes. yes. Hmm. So, this is where females are serving our traditional knowledge. Who's that? You don't read this in any of the So, there's literature we have for, I teach my students literature for life. Wow. Literature for not the kind of literalism books and theory. Mm-hmm. The theory is fine. We pick certain aspects and you know cross them over. Mm. But I like to share experiential literature with you, mm. where you come to own it. So when I teach you literature, I'm not here to impose. At whichever point you are on your literary journey, we meet, we share ideas. I have something to pick from you. You believe there's something to pick from you. We pick it, and then we meet. If we meet at another point, our paths cross again. There's a couple. We find it, we go. Charlie. Okay. So that is it, man. The life of a writer, poet. So, um, what are some of the lessons you've learned, I mean, in your time in the industry? Do you even have an industry? Which industry? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, maybe 
we are, we are, we are we'll part of using... the the pillars of the industry. Some so. people been using ah uh, well. <laughs> okay, what, what, so what's the issue? Is that well, there isn't really okay, people they lump us with this entertainment. That up to you. We we'll have that conversation. Later. That one is the whole. Issue. So we can we can we can talk about it. It's the whole. It's the whole thing. All right. So I think I'll note that one down. They lump us together with. It. But a you, lot of people don't. You find that wrong. But it's so off for me. It really puts me down. A lot of people don't even appreciate what poetry is. They don't know what it is. Yet they want to attempt to comment <laughs> and compare and award. Hey. <laughs> Do you get my point? They, they put it in just one context of showbiz. Okay. It's just one of the places where you probably want to put a dash of poetry, like spice in some food to mm-hmm. add some flavor to it. But if you like to get into it, not even as an academic field of study, as a way of life, as a mode of practice, as a mode of communication, how many people? How many people truly appreciate the art for what it is? No. But the students are the entertainment commentators. Okay, don't mind that. Okay, so what are some of the lessons you've learned in literature, your work that can never uh, was never taught and probably will never be taught in class or in a school? Hey, what are the things I've learned? <laughs> a man can only be as true as his mother tongue. Right. That's my own problem. I write my own Yeah, poem. I know that too. So that's, that's, a, that's a whole lesson. That's a whole lesson. It's, it's not just a poetry. No, no, no. Mm. And can you explain that? A man first? can only be as true as his mother. Mm-hmm. The meaning behind that. When you wake up, which language do you speak? Ga. How do you say good morning in Ga? Uh. <laughs> you say good morning in you see your life where you take the Caleb Lampy. Caleb Lampy. You see your life where you take it, my friend. Good morning, Gan. It be you the year they watch my face. As you say, you watch your cool. You find them. You find them come, la wife. No. If 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 it's. Well, I've been asking Gan people, plenty of them, old people, young people, all of them. Is this sometimes maybe in some of the homes they are not things usually see. Oh, not, no, not I really thought right. you knew your language very well. No, I wanted I know, to set a very nice written, example. I mean, in the written form, I can't. So you don't speak, <laughs> yeah. I speak, you speak but yeah. like, good morning. Like, how do you say good home. afternoon? Yeah. How do you say afternoon? Good afternoon. Yeah. Shani, oh, good afternoon. Oh. <laughs> no. <It's all> right. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, relax. Okay. I'm going to set. So okay. let me change the example. Okay. Make sure you play this part in the list. <laughs> yeah, please. The, please. Pay attention. Now. So you are asked, what is your name? Mm-hmm. What is your name? Caleb Nilanti. My name is. Uh, yeah. Ask that same what question in Ga. Answer that same question in Ga. Answer that same question in Ga. Tell me. Okay. Of these two, which one comes easily to you? I mean, that I tell me feels like. Are you sure? You see, I, I tell me feels like. You have, you are you, like, you are releasing yourself. It's just like you don't, you don't have to think of it much. Thank you. When you speak a man's language, you are speaking to his soul. Uh, yeah. So I have a performance. I have Italians, Spanish. So I have Italians in there. I speak a line of Italian. Ooh. That is all I need to do, mm-hmm. and they will follow the rest of the performance. Why? Mm. Because I open the performance with. A line of their language okay. to be feel a part of it. Are you here? Yeah. So people say good morning, good morning. Somebody say marching. Can you have some organic feel being we it clicks, it just works. So imagine talking to God in that. So as if there's nothing nothing beats expressing God in your mother tongue. Mm. Are you here with me? Yeah. Mother tongue here could mean many things. Yeah. To me, poetry is a whole language by itself. Okay. Now you say, good morning, good morning, good morning. Marching. You remember the guy who said marching? In that same vein, by speaking his mother tongue, he has become the discord in the whole song. Mm-hmm. Or the guy who hits that mark for you. Okay. You remember? Am I, am, I, am I driving a point? Yeah. What language do you think in? Somebody asked me this question. It changed my life. What language do you think in? So sometimes, ah, you catch yourself. You did it. <laughs> That's time. What language do you think in? 
You see? <laughs> so hold on. So these are little creative exercises I do with some of my students. Okay. And so a man can only be as true as his mother tongue. Okay. English could be your mother tongue. I don't have a problem. Okay. Obit may be English is your mother tongue. It's fine. Maybe that's what you is native to you. Well, I don't have a problem. Do you get me? Okay. I realize there's a language that you are even if you are sleeping, it will come. Naturally. I hear you. That's one thing I've learned. For you to write poetry in any language, in a, in a sense, you have some command. You have some command over the language. language. When the master at some, something is doing it, realize, ah, Charlie, the this guy is how you are long. I hear you. Yeah. Someone is trying it, you can tell. Okay. Someone is imitating, you can tell. When someone is at home doing what they are doing, you can tell. That's the difference with your mother tongue. Write in your mother tongue. Think in your mother tongue. Pray in your mother tongue. I'll do everything in your mother tongue. Yeah. So I, That's I, one of the lessons I've learned. Okay, I, I, I think you've answered it. I don't know whether you've answered it well. There was a question in mind okay. of asking that. I mean, you do literature in English. Yes. And you finish this undergrad and you are speaking P or yes. your mother tongue. Yes. Like it was something you because studied. It's, because it's my mother tongue. Did I have to study it in school before it becomes in it? So how do you believe that, 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 that constant practice? Because if we are in school, it's like yes. most time we are likely to speak English. That's and maybe when you meet so friends of our... So pick all the principles they're teaching you there. And if you know your mother tongue very well, transfer their principles. It will work. I hear you. Let me give you a nice example. Okay. Charlie, to open or to belly, whichever way, the door will be ajar. <laughs> okay. Okay, what is that one too? Mm-hmm. To belly. Mm-hmm. Belly is what? Open. Open is what? Belly. B is what? Open. Ouvre is what? Whichever way the door will open. A rose called by any other means. So I'll just ask you. Masha, open the door. <laughs> Jack, will you, will you what? No, no. Thank you. Whatever you do. I hear with me. Yeah. Look. <laughs> that does be. So pick the principle. Pick the video. It's all like a simile wherever it's a simile. Okay. I was watching another show. Another one. She used to have a show on TV in the morning. It was a sh- show. Yeah. I'm forgotten the name. Uh, is it the morning show? It was yeah, the morning it show. It was the morning show. It was on Saturday morning. morning. I've forgotten the name of the show. Okay. And this guy from Bullet, from Prophet's Moon, right? Bullet. Yeah, 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 yeah. And another asked, what is freaky? The Bullet was like, um, freaky. Freaky is freaky, you know? And I tell my friends, it's one of the most profound things I've ever heard. Charlie, what is freaky aside freaky? <laughs> no, no, no. What is a freaky apart from a freaky? No, I mean, that's the only thing that we call a free kick. is a free kick. Yeah, there's no other. There's yes, nothing else that. that can be a free kick. Yeah. It is only a free kick yeah. that is a free kick. Yeah. Simple. Hmm. So, Charlie, you with me? Yeah. The principles for literature are principles for literature. Okay. But sometimes certain concepts don't originate from a certain tongue. So, if you try to impose them, it becomes difficult. So, we've had to improvise and find words for television, motorbike. You know, we've had to. And provide and find our own, own words because they didn't originate from here. Yeah, and there are some things from here you might not have, find an English equivalent for. Yeah. That's not mean they don't exist. Yeah. So please let us check. Okay. We want to measure everything by somebody's name. Uh, okay, so how do you think in your mother tongue, your mother language? How do you think? I mean, in that sometimes there's a song playing. It's in English. I'm singing the free version. Example. I know the English song. I'm singing the tree version. And it, does it does it pick up the I'm, rhythm? I'm playing the tree. I'm playing the tree version in my head. Mm-hmm. Or I'm listening to the song in tree. It's being sung in English, but I make sense of it in tree. Do you get my point? When I'm doing translation, one of the places I go to most is the tree Bible. Okay. It has the purity of the language. I look at this and I remember. Hey, how can I say what? I go and look at the context in the context. So. Yeah, so you think in chi. Yeah. Okay. You realize that you are thinking in English, the thing is fleeting. You are praying. You are praying in English. You realize that the thing is being run around the mountain. What's that? The thing to pigeon or tree? Yes. Be free. 
Then I need to give your body pressure. Now you need to try to find some work. <laughs> Ali, um, um, you won't please Lord, God. And, and, um, walk, walk, walk. You know. <laughs> what is he doing? He said, I'm going to say, 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 Ah, if you die, they can see. Charlie, you don't get that, do you? I see. No, do you get my point? See, so think, think in a language that makes you feel at home. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you realize that when somebody says, "Oh, read the English version for me," I phone a the end. Yeah, yeah. Wait me here because, mm. uh-huh. or oh, the NIV that is that because everybody has their place where the understanding is comfortable. Some yeah. people are comfortable with Kojovi, the King James version. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody wants a new King James version. Mm-hmm. So the very old literature books, they give you the old version and they give you the new version. Mm-hmm. Like you have the apps, the Chi Bible is in the yeah. same screen. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Alright. So you, you spoke about we trying to measure our yes. works with other works, and I think not that's necessarily our works, even our way of life. Everything, yeah. every standard must be measured against somebody's. Have we asked my friends who are dancers? There's something called Laban's notation. When it comes to that, mm-hmm. I've been telling them, Charlie, have you guys been able to put Agbaja to Laban's notation? Or Bobo to Laban's notation? Laban. Laban. L A B A N. L A B A N. Laban. L A B A N, yes. Laban. Like, yeah, yes. Jacob's uncle. Laban's notation. Mm-hmm. Charlie, forget. Don't try and compare Adwa to Bali. <laughs> Bali is what it is, Adwa is what, what it is. is. Let's just give Adwa all the respect it deserves. Yeah. So for you as a poet writer, you know that what what are some of the metrics you use? Because uh, I think I've heard a quote somewhere that what you don't measure, uh, I think what you don't measure, you can it can't grow. Yes, what you don't measure, it can't grow or something. Okay, like. metrics in terms of um, how you measure your your work, how you measure your quality, the quality, how you measure your performance. Mm-hmm. For you, what 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 do you use to measure that? Yeah. What do I use to measure? Yeah. Okay. You are performing for an audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is your audience response? Somebody probably invited me to the person. What was his response? Was he satisfied? But for me, sometimes I go on stage, I'm done, I'm like, ah, I left this one, I left that one out. The next time I need to probably calm down a bit more. Okay, maybe I need to script. There are performances you script and you, you deliver. Mm-hmm. Right? There are other elements that will be included because it's your original work. Yeah. But you, you, you know. There's a, maybe there's an internal meter that takes you realize that each performance is like an improvement upon the other. Mm-hmm. There are days when you know Charlie, I've not done too well. Mm-hmm. But there are days when you know Charlie. Lee. There are days we are going to perform like Charlie, you know, we're just going to have fun and come back. And yeah, we're going to have fun and we come back. Because it's fun. We love what we do. So it's, it's you. But you should check your performances how many years ago. Have you been able to be consistent? At least. It's not getting there that's like keeping it. And probably lifting the bar high. That is what is most important. Yeah. Very important. You're only as good as your last performance. Mm-hmm. What do you think I have as a more mm-hmm. Baby jet, baby jet. No, the last kid. performance. <laughs> no go. Mm. Well. Remember Jay, Jay Gatti? That's why yeah. they call me Papa. Jay Gatti. Me, the disaster I wrecked with Jay Gatti was just one live stage performance. You go off key, that's your operating concern. Just one stage performance. You go off key. Well, he still has his shows and all, but it was it was a big event. And that, that, that was that was just the end. From then, I know he has a Jigati playing the show for Ghana again. And I'm here from Ghana. That's at the agency years ago. Any hmm. live show again? Wow. So, our live performance is the level at which we are mm-hmm. at a at a point. Are they are they in ex- exquisite? exclusivities to that like anything else because I'm trying to understand somebody can reason that oh it was I didn't feel well I wasn't feeling well well that's fine no, at, no, no, at no, no, see, no it can happen see everybody has a bad day see. I'm just saying but I'm saying it just takes one of such bad experiences for you to get a certain tag okay do you get my point yeah. yes so what do you um Nothing do in your leisure times. Why are you going to ask me what do I eat? <laughs> <laughs> my leisure? Do I even have leisure? <laughs> yes. I like to cook. Uh, I don't have the time. Okay. I like to meet people. I like to have conversation. Um, I like to travel. I like to drive. They call me the transport at 7. Hey. Uh, 
<laughs> it'll be, it'll be okay. yeah, I like to drive, but I have the time. Yeah. I'm developing new things, new interests, everything. I like the stuff. So you see the kind of things I'll be looking at. And then one day from uh, you know, I like to, I like to know what things are going around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to watch movies. And all these things will still engage me on a creative level again. So, yeah, but I have the time to go out and enjoy some live music. Vampire mm-hmm. is playing, at the high is playing. Yeah, lately I found the gym, found the workout. I love it. I don't go a day without. I go to the gym twice every day. Twice. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Wow. With the exception <laughs> of um, the Saturday. <laughs> I've been three months at it. And I'm seeing good results. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Maybe it's you should come to the gym. Now. <laughs> I, I think maybe I'll yeah, I will have a workout right here. <laughs> You know, so I, I, I try to find new things mm-hmm. that I fall in love with. Mm-hmm. My free, I love music. So when I'm not listening, I'm creating music. Mm-hmm. I have songs. You have your own songs? I have music. Yeah, don't go with my songs. I have the Kwanansi song from Anansi Christmas. I have uh, what do I have songs. Oh. Yeah. So do you, ever, do you ever get lost in your speech? Like, you know, sometimes you can be thinking about something, analyzing something in your mind or whatever, and... You get lost. You, like, yeah, then you fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... like uh, yeah, I mean, do you ever find yourself in this situation when you went thinking about work or trying to create something in your head? And you get lost. Yeah, like, it's like you're not aware of where you are because maybe, yeah, yeah, something has dropped into your yeah, yeah, yeah. mind, this thing, and you want to... So imagine we are at church, mm-hmm. praises, mm-hmm. it's serious. I mean, my father, maybe I'm not meeting you, I'm not Right, you forget. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm creating in that space. Space, okay. Uh, even in the, in the noise. The noise is no disturbance at all. Yeah. Uh, you see, as I say, when you, you constantly practice this thing, I realize that. Do you swim? No. You don't. See the way the sea's waves come up. So you dive. So beneath all the noise, there's a thin line of sanity. You can hear all the noise. You can, there's, a, there's a constantly this sound. I'm going to see you hear that line. Yeah. So all the noise, all I need to focus is. Play anything, play. Unless I decide not to write. Charlie. There were days when I was in agency, press release, I'm writing a press release, it's getting difficult. Charlie, plug in my head, set some pata pata. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Some nice music, Charlie, mm-hmm. plug, no, then. It's coming. I'm writing minutes for a meeting, let me drop what you <laughs> When I was writing my, uh, when I was done with my SSC, I wrote Nobdeck. Charlie, I'm going to drop it, but I'm not going to drop it. I'm going to drop it. Hey. 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 Look, that's how much I'm crazy about what I you see, I try to see poetry in everything mm-hmm. in our conversation. So sometimes I have a conversation with someone, I realize, no, this expression is too precious to waste on normal conversation. Get it down. Look it down later. Come to serve it. So constantly challenge. Focus. Never lose it. Yeah. Whatever you've been called to do, never lose. Never lose it. Okay, so you, 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 you mentioned falling again. You mentioned it a number of times. So many times. Um, as young people, yes. especially those coming out of school, how do you find falling? Because let's, let's assume, I mean, the, your parents want to benefit from the fees. <laughs> the fees are here for inside. <laughs> and, like, how people are expectant. But some of us. That's not everybody wants you to be a lawyer and a business. <laughs> How how do you streamline see, this? See, not everybody will become. See, you don't need any need to become a poet. Okay. Once you find your life calling, you're a poet. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah. It happens that I have to do this like this at this point in my life. Doesn't mean everybody needs to do it like this. Mm-hmm. No. Sometimes you actually be yourself. Coming out of school, check check yourself. Forget the academic stuff. What are the things that come naturally to you without mm-hmm. struggling? That sometimes you feel somebody might even pay money to come and watch you. Mm-hmm. You might be singing in the shower. Everybody is the best singer in the shower. <laughs> in the shower, <laughs> you all do that. 
you know. So check the things that come easily to you. The things that come to you in a silver platter, they might be the very things probably God is sharing with you to mm. act on. That might be your biggest break, not your degree. Uh, anyway, me, I worked there and resigned before I got my paper from the <laughs> Because uh, they had mixed some something, something. Actually, when I played, I went to my dad. Actually, they come here, so I go university finish. As well, let me go and do what I want. Uh, I hear with me. Yeah. So find your passion, the things you are passionate about. Everybody, now everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. I got to point. Everybody wants to be a motivational <laughs> speaker. <laughs> everybody wants to be a motivational speaker. Life coach. Life coach. Inspire us. Take your own advice. Uh, yeah. You are not, take your own take advice. Let me tell you my truth. But to me, I'm a fan of the food. <laughs> yeah. So, check the things that come easily to you, things that come naturally to you, mm-hmm. the things you love to do. Now, identify a problem. Are you able to solve it? Look at a need. Are you able to meet it? I know you might have heard this for so many times, but Charlie, check the things that come so easily to you. I'm a very quiet person. Mm-hmm. Some people are around me, I like to talk. Uh, so it's okay. I talk too much. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Me, I'll go and talk. Somebody will pay me money. So when I'm talking to you, I don't want to listen. I'm not bothered. Those who pay for it are around. Yeah. Those who pay and come and sit down for me to talk to them. Yeah. Right. One and I, oh, Charlie, plenty. Yeah. When I do all your market, I can't even come. It helps me. So I want to have a conversation with you and you feel I'm talking to myself. Mm. So check the things that come easy to you. Like I said, I love to talk. I like to mix with people. So I empty events, I do, you know, things of the sort. Do you get me? Yeah. So please check the things that come easy to you. It is like Go into history. Guys have left music to come in. Sciences to come to music. Mm-hmm. You know, check. Crisscross, law, you know, all of that. So this is your life. When well, your parents want you to do this, fine, do it for them. We are JP Pan for brain, we are done. Go and do what you want. So when I started telling you, I didn't believe you, but it is tough. I don't know. If you find BPF with them and I've insulted myself, hey, the things I've told myself, and I'll tell you all the things I've told myself. <laughs> now what you go come <laughs> and <laughs> we Charlie go over the things you are talking about. Yeah, I'm able to stand in front of my mirror. How is how you know this? How are you fool? How are you fool? Why are you embracing for what they will say outside there? See, <laughs> so I will tell you the things I tell my body. So add what they come, add way over what's me. I tell my body. Uh, I've insulted myself. I've motivated myself. Before <laughs> that. I, th- I think you're going against most motivation. So they said when you look into the mirror, tell yourself. Oh no, see, okay. do, 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 what I'm doing is rather to motivate me because okay. I'm going so hard, Charlie, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. But I know somebody's going to meet me and tell me, hey, Charlie, you are like this. So you are coming in our chairman, so you add something new ways, sometimes you go over what <laughs> you won't do. That was this, yeah, mm-hmm. you give me large. Okay. No, do you get my point? Yeah, I'm wasting my time. I guess. So add something that will make me feel like Charlie, I'm doing it on some epic scale. Like, <laughs> I'm fans, and they will say, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you here with me? Yeah. Yes. So, yes. beat your own drum is good. Learn to dance to your tune. It's good. Mm-hmm. When we are young, we should be able to take risks. Otherwise, somebody will go to uh, have a job okay, and just go and realize at the end of his life that, look, I made all the money I did on yeah. Have I truly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was just one. Well, so far as I can check, I think we live on. I might have had to do that, I don't know. I'm still trying to find it. Sometimes I feel like yeah. I'll find all of that. Mm-hmm. Charlie, look, check the things that come to you too. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to fit your career. Check the people who are so close to your network of friends. So when you go to school, don't just go and bury your head in the book. Make friends. If you have any skills, sharpen it. That is the key. Learn to do things for free, volunteer. In all these things, you would find things that you have interest in. Okay. National service, you would have, you know, things that you have in Attend events. Attend seminars. It's good to attend seminars. Charlie, listen, look, people have been there. Listen to them. 
go to these motivational sessions, go to these business seminars, build your networks, contacts, and all of these things. But you never really know. Look in your community, there might be a challenge that needs to be addressed. And you know, trust people like this. It's still. So somebody has made a lot more money running an NGO than somebody who works in a bank. Very true. You get my Yeah. So please, all of us will not go into the bank sector. No one. Yeah. If all of us wanted to be in the bank, who under that? Who come and draw the money? Yeah. We'll just be there, be telling her all our day, counting the money. We might, we'll we might leave our jobs. <laughs> simple matter, who will spend the money? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, Charlie, mm. in our part of the world, we don't respect certain things. But I've come to learn this with money. <clears throat> if you're not shy to do what will bring good money to you, good money is not shy to come to you. Jesus said, repeat, repeat, repeat that line again. If you're not shy mm-hmm. to do what will bring good money to you, what will bring money to you, money is also not shy. <coughs> Once it's legit, Charlie, I saw eggs. I saw fresh eggs. I carried you my car. I don't mind. You don't go down to them. You saw me on TV and I saw like fish. Don't you eat? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know who dropped the egg? <laughs> In the moment, I know the money you'll give me. <laughs> so, be yeah. Look, let's be real. Mm-hmm. Let's live. Let's be in tune with ourselves. Let's make mistakes. Let's live. Let's love. Let's apologize. Let's. Fight. Let's cry. Let's scream. Let's, let's threaten to go mad once in a while. Slow down, man. You can find your purpose. Mm. Yes. And listen to your inner self, man. God has placed something in you. Most of the time, people have a lot of self esteem issues. They feel they need to please everybody around them. Charlie. They say, Futu be and change the problem. They say, Oh, Nana, now I'm saying that. Oh, Nana. Adi, Aye. And how you need here. I'm sure you. That's constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. And I now use school and say, Oh, Charlie, do we find you? That's me, you too. But just to come and criticize, I just put you on last week, I probably record the poem. Well, first of all, what happened? Mm-hmm. Okay, we are so big. Remember now we are. Uh, that is fine. Because see, our parents are vehicles to bring us here. Mm-hmm. Those vehicles will leave. Yeah. Are we the passengers will be here? Will also be very close to bring other people in. Check. Yeah. So, if you want to do the usual, everybody wants to be a banker, make sure you are some exceptional banker, people will be coming. Yeah. Why would Joy FM want to call a Franklin Kutu? Why would everybody want to call that guy and listen to Franklin? Why would every politician want to bash him? <laughs> So even for the bashing, me, Kalunia is doing something <laughs> worth bashing. Bash, yes. Talking yeah. about that yeah. is. Yeah. You get my point. Yes. See. Yeah, I get it. Are you here? Yes. Yeah. So That's my point. Hmm. So you can find your passion in different ways. You can find your voice in different ways. Try different things. That's why I give God time. Try different things. Yeah, the thing works for me. Even with five things. Try different things. Yeah, like, okay. So naturally, my star goes this way. This way. Naturally. I think I told you that. And there you have it. But ask for guidance. Mm-hmm. People have gone through. There's no need to reinvent the wheel when your ancestors are riding <laughs> chariots. Master. <Yeah. laughs> Listen to counsel. Especially when you have parents who, are, who have their confidence in mm-hmm. place. Mm-hmm. Don't be too rebellious. But when you have heard like I heard, Charlie, eventually they, are like, oh, they eventually have to give you a blessing. Yeah. Realize what other things go somewhere. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now you come for an event, but our bucket is waiting outside for us to finish setting the place after you come and sit down. You wait. <laughs> sure. You see, it was a misconception. What oh, is on the roof? And then I won't miss anything. Yeah. yeah. Then they come for the event. Yeah. You see, you know, Charlie, you're 24. Mm-hmm. You're going to change that. You did be here, and I can say, Charlie, you guys come in. Change the dynamics. That's what I'm saying. So, Charlie, make sure it's, a, it's something different than the usual. Okay. To the usual. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you're done, it's less fun. So, we're going to do it. See? So, so <laughs> for you, what do you consider as success? Success. Yeah, what do you mean? I tell me. What do you consider? What's success? <clears throat> okay. 
um, what do you aim to do when you play the ball of what do you, you, you like kicking? Yeah, I, I love I, kick. I, I, Com- I call it comic connection. <laughs> so what do you aim to do <coughs> when you put a ball of yeah, say a ball of kinky mm-hmm. and fish with everything in Sambula in front of What is your aim? Finish it. To finish it. Yeah. Good. So if I manage to take it back, 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 and finish everything on the plate, mm-hmm. what have I been able to do? Have I achieved the purpose? Simple matter. That is it. <laughs> uh, Compared to it to a night and so this may be <laughs> Today we wanted to have an interview. Yeah. We deferred it soon. Yeah. So when we finish this interview, yeah, we have been successful. Yeah. So take it one step at a time. Set your mind to something. Like this girl you are pursuing. Mm. All the very best. What is it? This girl you are pursuing. And yeah, she's called Lindsay Adobe. Hey! She has an acute opinion. Oh, it's worse. No, she says that. It can't be really like you can't be people like that. Why? It can't be like you. It can't be like you. No, dig your back. Yeah. When finally she has agreed to be whatever you're asking her to be, mm-hmm. mission accomplished. Now the new phase begins how to sustain that relationship. Yeah. Dig your back. Yeah. So make, that's why I say let's do stuff. Let's make mistakes. But pursue whatever you set out to be. If it doesn't work for you, keep telling. But at all costs, keep moving, keep focusing. So success comes in when we set out. Clearly, for me, let me put it simply in a performance, mm-hmm. performance term. I set out to have a certain kind of effect on my audience, mm-hmm. and then to draw a certain kind of response from them. Once I'm able to have that effect and receive the response, the moment I see the response, it simply tells me I have had the effect which I set out to have. Finish. Maybe I set out to confuse them. <laughs> so once they are confused and they didn't get it, they are successful. Oh la la. Wow. Once I wanted to keep them in suspense mm-hmm. and I managed to do it. Or once I wanted to leave them wanting more so that they would go and look for me next time. And I realized I've been able to do it. So she has to. Shall I measure it in bits mm-hmm. and pieces? Like I gave the kinky example. Yeah. You set off and I'm going to brush my teeth. I might need to put the toothpaste on the brush. You get to the bathroom. Maybe the cats are not showing. Come and check. You don't even have to show Maybe you have to pull down to some bolly bag. Get the cup. Get the water. Mm. Come. Brush your teeth. Bring mm. the thing. Hey. Yes. See, yes. congratulate yourself on little things. Celebrate little milestones. Otherwise, you always be troubled. I wish I had money to do it. That's not. That's one. At the point I told them I could retire from what I do. Uh, because at least my master who trained me, one day he walked out and said, Manasa, that was good. That day I told them, hey, Charlie. See, so if I meet somebody and they don't know what I'm saying, I don't need that too much. The people will then forgive the thing, then give credit. Ah, yeah. Dan. So today if I decide, hey, Master, I'm, I know I'm not that. But yeah. if I decide to say, hey, Charlie. You can take it up very much. You for her. Uh, for your teacher to tell you, Master, this thing, was good. Mm. The way that man has bashed me in this world. So do you get my point? See, measure success. Very little things. So, um, who comes to mind? I mean, as humans and people, who yeah. comes to mind for you as one of the people you consider as successful? People that are successful. Yeah. Yeah. My late father is gone. That was a very successful one. Why do you class him as successful? Um, in different ways. He raised me. I don't think he did a bad job with me. Mm. Yeah. So if somebody ever thinks that, that is a, a fantastic young man. I mean, the man has done a very fantastic job. Wow. <laughs> he left his house intact. Mm-hmm. He died pursuing faith and he attained it. I mean, the man could tell you, I'm not afraid of death. For somebody to be bold. Who to tell you that? That's it. Especially if I go too deep. Mm. No shit. See, how many people have that level of confidence? And you see how that man passed. Very calm. Uh, when one of my profs said, like, Kali, if all of us could go like that. <laughs> you want to go like that? Kali, like, no, stop, don't be. No, Kali, effortlessly. Mm. You know, and I like to look within a lot. My uncle I was named after, Dr. Philip Nineku. 
was 37 military officers. He runs the Emmanuel community also. Mm-hmm. He's the one that was named after Philip. I would have probably changed the Philip, if not for him <laughs> and then the, the time travel experience in the Bible, you know, disciple mm-hmm. of Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Young man, but Charlie, the way the man's mind works, fantastic, very practical, down to earth. I feel these are very successful people. They might not have attained all the but things they set out to, but at every point in time, you realize that when you're around them, they're very progressive. People. Their energies are moving you in a certain direction. Yeah. These are successful. Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk about your current president of Ghana? That's a successful one. Mm-hmm. Consistency producing results. I don't have a coin election. Bah, go, bah, go, bah. Keep going. If you had given mm-hmm. up, what would have happened? Mm. So he has succeeded at what he said out to do. Yeah. Do you get my point? Yeah. You see him both, Charlie. Just when the world thought he was going to keep running, the guy leaves it. Charlie, he records still day. <laughs> yeah. Comfortably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. Are you with me? Yeah. So, if you're mm. a he aims to make our tradition fashion. And today it's work. Well. Actually, I'm all Yeah. <laughs> and successful people, check the line, they will always money to leave legacy. Okay. You see, the wise man leaves an inheritance for his children. children. So, Kofi Anidoho is one of my teachers. He's my, my teacher. And I feel he's a successful man. Because if your student just has a first degree and is going at this rate, then Charlie. No, you must have done something so terribly good. Right. No, do you get my point? Yeah. Sometimes, look, by their fruits, you know them. Simple. <laughs> exactly. Thank exactly. you. That's Finish. a... Case that. That's by a... their fruits, mm-hmm. you know them. Thank um, you. I think... So if you think I'm something, then check. This... That's the essence of genealogy. I was telling you. So yeah, that's nice. Or mama courage if you walk us. For somebody to be named like that means the person is... I used to call my father Omama Kwedia. So it's a whole line. Omama Kwedia, be of us. Omama Kwedia. It's a whole, whole line. So someone feels proud to be associated with his ancestry. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm noticing you, you share a lot of appreciation. It's important. Mm-hmm. Tell me, watch and look. Well, then. Hmm. The king can say if you didn't go back. Somebody will cook. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. So if somebody cook the thing. Yeah. This speaker we didn't use. Can somebody, somebody do it? Yeah. When somebody go pick and put for market, so you see, see who are the NBA Juma, we will do some. Right now, as we did, if somebody we did, you see, they make sure this one do it. Okay, I find it so rough. Do it now, that's a simple matter. The master, thank you. Sorry. No, we'll kill you. Yes, I guess I had to call you. If I knew that and I beg you for doing something wrong. Does it change my mood? Does it affect my pain? Yeah. So what do I mean? By saying thank you. Share. When somebody does something for each other, you expect that person to be the person ah, you drive. Mm-hmm. I want to set the bedroom. So you realize that gratitude is, is, is important. That's it. Maybe you're that's it. If you may be. When you go to a funeral and somebody comes to you, Oh, you're a bad genie. I say, you're a bad genie. You're a bad genie. So thank you. Uh, more, more should follow. So appreciation makes way for you before, you know, kings. It gives you a certain edge. It's very important to, to be grateful to people. Because it's little things that add up to become so. Two CD, fifty pesos. It's not the same as three CD. <laughs> so you need fifty pesos. Yeah. To add up to two CD, fifty pesos. You need to pay If you had nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-five, what else do you need? Charlie, that look of you makes a difference to make it ten thousand. Yeah. So be grateful for little things. Or what do you think? Oh, I thought it was just no, it's not just it was something that added up. To make something full, appreciate it. Be grateful. The way you also want to be appreciated, appreciate it. You want to be appreciated. 
celebrate about it. Oh, celebrate them well. well. You want to go for book, book young writers? I call that. I'll buy your book. I'll buy it. If I didn't read it, you may not take my money. But I've got it. I've supported what you said. When it is my turn, somebody will tell me. So in case, I mean, on your road, you have this huge billboard. Mm-hmm. Who maybe Global Media Alliance says that up. And you are, you are given the chance to put a statement there for people to watch. Maybe not commercial. But oh, I should put a statement on what? On that billboard, maybe on the uh, inspector's uh, motorway. From motorway and you have this big billboard. Put a statement of yours you want to communicate to people, not commercial. What do you have on that billboard? The depth of the tongue is the height of the mind. The depth of the tongue is the height of the mind. The depth of the tongue is the height of the mind. Of the mind. In the uh, okay. oh. I think we are coming close to the yes, yes, ending yes, this session. But um, what question would you have asked yourself if you were in my shoes? What question would you have asked yourself if you were in my shoes? What question would I ask myself? Yes. Wow. <laughs> what question would I ask myself? I might have researched, I might not have found all. But what piece have I missed that you think is worth highlighting with you? Okay, if I met Nanaka, maybe ask Nanaka. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm <thinking> <laughs> <laughs> I'm translate. I'm thinking English translation is allowed. I'm thinking hmm. I mean, it's funny. What would I ask myself? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm how, how do you do the things you do? I think it's if I if I a lot of things that you are curious about. Mm-hmm. But if me, okay, it depends. The way I know myself, mm-hmm. I probably would ask myself something. Else, but I don't know how you know me, so putting no, so myself that's in your what shoes. I want, I, I, I want to find out It depends on what you, you want to talk about. No, so what, whatever <laughs> thing is open, is open, is open because yeah. I think life lessons can be passed or shared through different ways, used in different. Okay. So the depth of the tongue is the height of the mind. Words are spirit, the creative force of all life. Word is the essence of spirit, the creative force of all life. So be careful of the things you say. Who you say them to. You might never be able to take them out. In fact, you'll never be able to take them. So I would have asked myself, how? But if I went, no, what I would have asked myself, I don't know. I cannot, I cannot be, I can't put myself in your shoes. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you, if you, because one of the things... I can't put myself in your shoes. <laughs> I can put myself in my shoes. Okay, put yourself in your shoes then. In my shoes. And see what you ask your, oh, tell yourself. What would you have, what would you ask yourself? If you're sharing this with people all over, I mean young people all over. <laughs> what would I ask myself mm-hmm. regarding poetry or what? Anything, it's open, whatever Anything you want to ask. It's too broad. So you choose one, it's you. Oh, about Pinky or. Okay, so. Ask me something okay, specific. Okay, about, about, about poetry, let me put it, put it to. Okay, so about, about poetry. It's your poetry. What would you ask yourself? What would I ask myself? Yes. Okay. Where do you want to take it eventually? Where would I want to take poetry eventually? Yes. Maybe that's one question out of that. And how do you answer that? And how do I answer that? Yeah. I respect Sarkozy a lot. Okay. For one of the experiments, I would like to do to poetry what he has done to rap in Ghana. Wow. One of the I've said it for a while. That's a bad. One of the experiments. Mm-hmm. But beyond that, 
I look to get to a point where all of life's basics are taken care of. Mm-hmm. And all I do when I wake up is to meditate and teach. Mm-hmm. Meditate and teach. Not just teach. Teach by doing. Teach by showing you how it is done. Teach by learning. You know, by sharing knowledge. Because nobody has it all. Teach by traveling, gathering a lot more encyclopedic knowledge from other cultures. Our art is actually a very unifying thing, where you meet people from different languages, where language might be a but the art is a point of communion. And then to use my art for a meaningful process, you know, to bring change, and, uh, inspire young people to be doing African work again. Yeah. Alex, thank you. Yeah, it's good. Final words for Final words. Final words for Alex. Oh, final words. Yeah, especially young people. Young people. Final words for them. Please, today is December 21st, 2022. It's 11.58 by my watch. Whatever you really like to eat, please, don't deny yourself. This life is too beautiful. But when you're done, make sure that long run, it's not just about you, but the things you leave behind. It's never too early to start building legacy. So aim to be different, be the pitch or the discord in the song, and you'd have left your mark always to be remembered. Yeah, that's enough for the show. That's enough for today. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so um, if so people want to follow you, reach you. If you want to follow me, where can they go? If you want to follow me, this is my link. Please come. Go watch. So do I'm sorry, stress, and then you follow me. <laughs> Don't mind. So I'm on Instagram. Uh, okay. At Assassinana. Twitter, Assassinana. And then Facebook is Nana Sase or Philo Yink. P H I L O Y I N K. But once you find Nana Sase, or actually Google Nana Sase. Is that you find me and reach out any day? I am trying to formalize the process where I can interact with a lot more people at the same time because surely individual interactions might be might be tasking on one person. It's important. So, shall we? Yeah. I said thank you so much. For it's a pleasure. I'm so glad to have you on the podcast for today. Thank you for having me. And we we take your advice. Okay. And what do you think? Will she the mix and will she the mix? Sure, you do have one. Oh, she did the mix. Since we did the maroon, you are getting one. Can we keep that sort of bones? I think we'll, we'll keep that conversation no for another yeah. one. Yeah, we'll go talk about that. We'll keep that conversation for another one. So thank you so much. Yes. Uh, hey, Charlie, I couldn't have done this. Let me mention, I'm a proud Absunian, a gentleman of the time. I went to Ogasco to, to set two records straight. One, to disprove that Boche is the best. <laughs> I think on both counts I've succeeded too. To read literature in English. I'm say two nine as well about People think I'm a butcher was no. No. I'm a proud absolute. Action puts it. Okay, so I've seen some men, then I've seen women. Saint Augustine. Okay, so Augustine Augustine Spa Students Union. Okay. Saint Augustine Spa Students Union. So Saint Augustine's College in Cape Town. Hey guys, thank you for listening to this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. We promise to bring you new episodes weekly. Subscribe on the various platforms you listen to this podcast on. You can follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at The Young and Old and on YouTube at The Young and Old Podcasts.